The Colorado Association of Realtors is such a dynamic trade association with more than 30,000 members. They are your first voice at the Capitol dealing with property rights and the housing market. And they've been very successful in being proactive in finding meaningful public policy solutions that create a better market for everyone. And I'm so excited to see the Colorado Association of Realtors receive this honor today. They excel at public policy. They are a really strong lobbying force. They are very active in their political action committee, which determines who holds public office and uh, therefore makes these decisions. So they are a strong force, and I think that, that's what I think of in terms of the realtors excelling. When I heard that they, the realtors got this award, I thought that was just perfect. They've earned it, they deserve it, nothing else needs to be said. I had the pleasure of working for and working alongside Tyrone Adams for almost a decade, and I can say that there aren't any better leaders in the real estate space or the business space, and I can know that his team, as I did when I was a member of the team, got, you know, was excited to go to work every day because we had a leader like Tyrone. They're staunch private property and free enterprise advocates. They work on making their members better, you know, professionally developing them, which makes them better advocates on behalf of their clients. My first thought upon hearing that the Colorado Association of Realtors were being honored with the Champion for Prosperity Award is that it's a reflection of who realtors are. Realtors are highly engaged and not shy about entering public policy debates to share their real world experiences with decision makers on how a policy will help or harm housing, property rights, or the real estate industry overall. I know that everyone who is a part of the Colorado Association of Realtors, members and staff, are honored to be the recipient of this year's Champion for Prosperity Award and appreciate the recognition. We've been doing this now for over 100 years in public political advocacy, and uh, we're going to continue to do this. But you know, when we're recognized, it's a team effort, it's the volunteers, it's my team, and it's us as a whole. One of the things that we were always looking to do was find more research to support our positions when it comes to political advocacy. So when Common Sense came around and we were introduced to Common Sense, and then we saw the Remy table, we're like, this is where we need to be. And we love the fact that the information was nonpartisan. Thank you to CSI. Um, you guys are very important to what we are doing. Uh, we use your information a lot. We appreciate the partnership that we have, and we look forward to helping Carl get back on, on track. We've we got a lot of serious issues that we're gonna be facing here, um, that we're facing now, but also in the future. And I think that what you guys are doing and what these other business organizations are doing together is going to help us uh, bring Carl back to having that great quality of life and making it the place where people wanna to move to.